here today to celebrate as we watch Kyle Shutter and Brooke Childs join hands in marriage. We're here to laugh with them. Some of you are here to cry. Most of all, we're here to wish them well as they begin their new life together. I knew it was special when he met Brooke because he called me. He says, I met this girl, I want to marry her. And he was nervous, legitimately. From the first time we met, I knew you were the one. You always pushed me to be a better man. You are my person, my love, my inspiration. We got a call from Brooke when she first started seeing Kyle and, and she said, hey, I'm gonna go watch a friend at the rodeo. And we're like, huh, that's kind of weird because does Brooke even like to go to rodeos? And one became two to three and I'm like, oh, she must really like this guy. And it uh, turns out she, she met her future husband and, and there's no turning back now. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. What we're here to witness is the entangled roots of these two individuals that are about to join together as one reaching for the stars together, sharing the same dreams, weathering the same storms, growing together year after year. Because real love is sharing a life together. Any fool can fall in love. Real love is what comes next. Cal and Brooke, we're all here to wish you the best, the best that life has to offer. Both as you move forward as one, knowing that it's time to declare yourselves to one another. You guys are so blessed because you have all of these people here to support and love you. And there's so much wisdom in this room. So use that wisdom. Brooke, I'm so proud of you. Um, I couldn't ask for a, a, a better daughter. Kyle, every time I, I get to spend some time with you, you're, you're so calming and and just an easy person to be around. Thanks for taking care of Brooke, making her so happy. Can't wait to get to know you even better. Watch you, you know, make a great life for you and Brooke. Kyle's the, the Brooke Whisperer, that's who we call him. We're so happy to have everyone here because we know what it took to get here. We just wish the best for, for them and their life forward. Brooke and I have been friends for almost 10 years, met at school at Montana State. We actually met off Craigslist. I went over to her place to meet her, and we actually ended up not separating after that point. Brooke is spontaneous, she's very caring, she's a fierce protector, and she's one of the most authentic people I've ever met in my entire life. She loves hard, and anyone that knows her is blessed because of it. I actually got to meet Kyle for the first time this week, and I immediately knew uh, why Brooke was marrying him. I really think that they are the yin to each other's yang and they bring out the best in each other. You can tell right away that they feel most at home when they are together. I look forward to hearing about all the new memories they'll make in the next 50 plus years and I know y'all have a happy future ahead. I love you both. 
I've known Kyle since I was in kindergarten. We did the grade school, middle school, high school together, playing sports the whole time, hunting and fishing. Then we went to UM together too. All that just, it's just to say how long like he and I have been friends together. The one constant I've always had, like tying back to Montana, has always been my friend Kyle. He means a lot to me. I don't think we've ever said this to each other, so it's coming out a little weird right now. <laughs> I met Brooke for the first time in Great Falls this last winter. When I met her, I instantly knew that uh, he'd found a partner in his life that when you meet that somebody, where they make you want to be a better person, continue to strive, just complete each other in that way, it's, I mean, that's all I can ask for. So, very happy for them. Cheers and good luck. <laughs> I promise to love you, always be by your side, through all the ups and downs. Be your biggest fan and to root for you through all life's challenges. I vow to always be faithful, honest, trustworthy throughout our life. Give me confidence and support throughout my lowest points. The man I have become in these last five years is the man I promise to be throughout our life together. Even through our ups and downs, my love for you has never faded. And even though each of us, even through these trials, my love for you will grow. I have no doubt we will go through hard times, but through these times, I also have no doubt our love will continue to grow every day. I love you and I love who I am when I'm with you. A lifetime with you wouldn't be long enough. I vow to love you through each season of our lives. And I vow to walk the dogs in the snow because we all know how much you hate the cold. I vow to be there to push you around when you're old and wrinkly. And if the tables are turned, I trust you to not push me down a hill. <laughs> all joking aside, we've had a unique experience over the last five years, creating a memorable relationship. And I vow as your wife to continue the fun, the growth, and the lasting memories as our role models have done before us. I vow to be all in during the good or the bad and stay by your side through each stage of life that is yet to come. Bring on the next 65 plus years of marriage because honestly I still don't know if that that would be enough time with you. This is only our beginning and I promise you in this moment I've never been more excited. Well Kyle and Brooke Having proclaimed the love and commitment to one another in the sight of these witnesses and myself, I am so happy to pronounce you by the power invested in me by the state of Montana, husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss your bride. Oh. <laughs> Say it all to you if I could